I, this is a test of a piece of foam covering my microphone so you don't hear me breathing as much. Because I'm using the upside down camera rig so the microphone's pointed right at my nose and mouth, which is pretty weird and disgusting. You'll know that when I do the, when I release that video. So let's see here, 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 too low, there. Yes. All right, unboxing. With my, with microphone modified to not have me breathe into it. Buckle licks yourself. Anyway, uh, my life hacks video where I talked about ripping up socks, and everyone was like, Well, why don't you just get socks that don't rip up, bro? Or actually, they were like, Why don't you get socks that are insured for life? So apparently, Darn Tough Socks of Vermont makes socks. I know, shock. And they're guaranteed for life. If they wear out, you send them back and they give you new socks. Which is why. $51 for three pairs of socks. I know, that's a lot. And I don't like spending money on stupid shit, but I bought three different, ooh, it comes with a sticker, totally worth it. Darn tough socks of Vermont. I mean, uh, sock capital of the world apparently is Northfield, Vermont. You just made your feet happy, please reuse or recycle. It's a nice box. So I bought three different types of sock from Darn Tough Socks, all ankle height. I don't do the full length anymore. And I got the Endurance, the Hike Trek, and the Running. Mm. So let's pull out the Runnings first. Are they like, how are you fas fastened? There we go. With little baby socks for babies. And you can see they change the material as you go down. So it's like this, and then it blends to this, which has an open top. And then the heel's got a lot more material. And then, ooh. All right, we'll see how all these fit. I'm not going to review the socks that much. And these are thick. These are thick boys. The Hike Trek. Wool? I think we're like mostly wool. It's like 90% wool, and the rest is those weird materials. So, thinner on top, way thicker on the bottom. Holy crap. The point is, if I find a sock here that I really like, if I wear these three socks a couple days in a row, and I'm like, oh my god, this sock's changing my life. Maybe I'll do that thing I do with, like, the 22 pairs of socks on a cycle. Only uh, spend $400 on it, because that's what it would fucking cost. And which ones are these? The Endurance, which are... Not quite as thick as the hike, but still thick overall. My god, they're padded. These are going to be like the... Oh, my foof. Oh, my foofka. These are the nicest collar, too. Like These are aight. These are a little thin. These are aight. This is like a nice... Yeah, man, these are thick socks. Okay. Uh, socks, ladies and gentlemen. You've come here for socks. Actually, socks is my brother. Check out his channel in the description below. Uh, socks. This isn't really an unboxing because uh, Joshua Valor, who does the other YouTube channel, who's doing headphones, I loaned him a bunch of my stuff because I have a bunch of stuff that didn't need to have around right now at the moment. So I'll unbox that if I have time. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm actually not reviewing this. In fact, I shouldn't even be opening it. But uh, uh, a certain someone who happens to be a Polish vampire, uh, had to send Vimotas to me so that I could forward them to him in Poland because the shipping from Vimota to Poland was insane and I have a business account, so I don't know why that's a thing. Oh, I don't have to take them out of the case? Excellent. All right, the real reason that I was unboxing this and not was to look at the, the side of the cups he had custom printed. So I'm gonna take one out without looking at it. I haven't even seen it yet. Here we go. He had custom plates printed for the side of the Vimotas of a little lolly girl. Aww. That's cute. So he's got the red Vimotas. He's also got a little baby screwdriver to change them out and all different screws. And he's got a little, little lolly girl. Same one on both sides? Yes, it is. Oh, she's, she's mirrored. That's cool. I don't know they would mirror her. All right, cool. So everyone's favorite favorite Polish vampire is gonna get 
his uh, V motors with the little lolly cups. Lolly eh, cups, whatever they are. Um, this, I don't know what this is. I arrived, I was away for a couple days, and I came back, and there was just a pile of boxes. So we're in this together, boys and girls. Oh, that was a bad. There we go. What is it? What is it? Is it anime figures? Hell yes, it is. The ones that I talked about in the... What video was that? It's a nice box. I'm going to use that. These are the ones that sit on the side of your cups to keep your ramen noodles. I'm making soup, but I'm not making ramen. I don't own any ramen. Oh, shit. This is an un unexpected surprise. Waifus usually take weeks to show up. <laughs> and I know, Zeos, you don't really need any more anime figures. And I'm like, yeah, I don't. But what I like about these more than all the other anime figures is that these are specifically designed not to need a stand. I hate the bases that they all stand on. It makes them look tacky and corny, which is why my display in the bedroom has no stands. I'm just blue tack and leaning, and it's really... Really hard to set up that way. And come on. Uh, as much as I love Topa Taran, Garen, Lagan. I love that they've got her hair in a bag. Uh, oh, her boobs are pressed flat. And her butt is there. And she's designed to just... I wish it was like that, but I mean, that will do, I guess. If it was a cup of ramen, it'd be tilted in. But yeah, no, that's that's pretty amazing. The modern the modern technology of the world. Shibaki, you want this? I'm gonna put her where she'll just... Here, this Talenti thing is perfect. Boom. Won't be needing that packing material because, uh, keep her. The Yoko one's really nice. Yoko needed to get some in Topa Tower Garen Lagern. Spoilers, she doesn't get any. Ever. Saddest fucking thing in anime. Not not the Kamina. Just her not getting dicked hard. And this one is from True Love Rue. I don't know who these characters are. She's in a bikini. And that's all I need. I honestly don't care about who, like, like, like everyone's like, oh, you're a big anime freak. No, 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 no. I just enjoy the few that I like, and the rest are. That's cute. Flat spot on her butt. She could sit up here with her. Today is a good day. I. Right. This. What is this? Tin twos, tin hi-fi T twos. Now, I actually just found out that KZ, the company that everyone's like, you gotta try the KZ, blah 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 blah, is also owner of tin because they're sending me these. These are not the ones they're sending me. These are the ones I bought, which means I'm probably gonna end up putting these guaranteed in a yard sale unless they're amazing. And I need two sets that I give one away as a gift. That is a nice. These are cheap. Made in the People's Republic of China. Wow, that's soft, like fake bound leather. It's nice. It smells nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so you open it up. Presentation. I, I, I got a thing for presentation. I mean, I know it's wasteful. Because, I mean, if I get these ch cheap IMs, they were 50 bucks. I'm never putting them back on this. I'm not traveling with it. They're glued in place. Hold on, you're ruining the unboxing experience, glue. Are they really glued in place? Oh, they're just stuck to the foams of the tins. Come on, gently peel it off. Okay, so we got a tin hi-fi book that says Chinese, and then enjoy 12 months of free warranty service from the purchase. Nice. You know, pay attention to appropriate volume, but don't damage your hearing. That's what that says. Look at that presentation. I wish that was on the bottom. That'd be nice. So you could just be like... Oh. 
Wow, that is really st I, like I use foam tips all the time, and these foam tips are sticky as fuck. They're rather light. I thought they'd be a little bit heavier due to the metal. So they come with foam tips pre-installed. I enjoy that. Blue, which means they're not just like Oh, they got some shit stuck to them. Wow, look at the look at the stay on that. That's like blue tack. They're blue tack fucking pads. The tips. Now I could pull this out. Where I get to see the cable fully. Nice thick braid. Can I twist this? Yeah, there you go. You see the individual wires? Comes up. MMXC. No more extra, no different size of the foam, just silicone. That's pretty simple. The bottom is inlaid with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our indicator? Wow. That says L, just barely, and that says nothing. Oh, that says R, there you go. So let's just go pop. And then I like the red and blue indicators on this. Okay, add these to the stack of IEMs that I have yet to review. I'll probably do a full-blown KZ. Oh, Chewbacca's got her toy. She got Pasta's toy. She's gonna kick its ass. Kick its ass, sea bass. I'm um, gonna throw this in here and this in here because honestly, this is the ugly part of the box. Who needs this? Nobody. If you've got it out and you could just do that, why would you not just do that. Am I crushing the tips? I am crushing the tips. I gotta lay down. Lay down. You gotta lay down. There we go. No, no, lay down. Lay down. Good. That's oof. That's oof. How you girls working out? They're fucking great. It's fucking great. Now this, my, my friend Sushi got my brother a birthday gift and it was a salt thing with a salt grinder thing. He's like, this is the greatest thing ever. And I looked it up and the salt grinder thing, the little handheld thumb grinder thing, they had two of them on Amazon with salt and pepper in it. And since I'm building that travel case, I said, screw it, this will be awesome. So it comes a little bit of rock salt, comes a little bit of pepper grounds. It comes with, is that a bag? Hold on, hold, hold, everything is, the world's gone to shit. My world has turned into ash. Thank you for your purchase. Comes with a burlap bag, like a thick bag. It's not burlap. It's nicer than burlap. How do you get out? How do you come out? What is this? Oh, there you go. Just pull it. Just pull it. Pretty sure that's empty. That's empty. That's empty. Chewbacca duck. Thank you for the purchase of your mills. Please leave us a four to five star review. Yeah, good luck telling me. Anyway. Do you see what this be? So you unscrew this, and you fill this with whatever. I'm gonna do a red pepper flake, because that's what I need on my personal old times. And you screw this type, and then there's just a little grinder thing there that goes. So I'm gonna do, instead of doing pepper, I don't do regular pepper, uh, or this little, little weak salt, I'm gonna do, I have a bag of pink Himalayan. These are my two most used uh, grinders, like my full blown grinders, you can see. Look at the caked on salt and dust. So these will become my little baby travel ones. So whenever at someone's house and they're, they're bad, I'm gonna be like, yeah, hold on a second. So 20 bucks got me two of these, which is more than those two full size grinders are at Ikea, but you know, these are specialty. <sighs> okay. I feel special now. I feel special. Hold on a second. Like when you go to light a girl's cigarette, even though fuck smokers, I don't date smokers, just pull out the goddamn thing. Hold on. This is going to prevent this video from coming out before the end of September. Because uh, Pasta begged the question, uh, what's a girl got to do to get a Zero Views t-shirt around here? 
Oh no, actually, the specific thing was whose dick does a girl gotta suck to get a Zero Views t-shirt? And the answer is this guy's. So, I'll throw that away. Chewbacca's eating a corn husk. Now, I don't know, I, uh, someone on my Patreon sent me this image, and I blew it up in Waifu2x, and I sent it to Teespring. And, oh, this needs to be washed. It smells like vinegar. How clean is this table? It doesn't matter, it needs to be washed. These, this is a ladies medium. That's huge. I may have to order a smaller one. And here's a men's extra large. So now I was gonna put like zero views, thing, but I think just these, these could be a band. You got the headphone, the backwards E. It's good, good design. I love this. A quarter inch jack. It's good. And it's obviously a ribbon cable because it gets thinner. God bless you, Chewbacca. So I need to wash both of these. Because that is my, apparently my catchphrase, these, these. And um, she always wanted to have these across her tits. So there you go. Done. My pasta wear it with pride. Actually, Teespring was cheap. These, both these t-shirts, custom printed with the thing, with the higher end material. This is who makes this? Did I just rip off the tag? I know this one's... Definitely next level apparel, and this is something else that was like high quality. Like Thirty-two dollars for both t-shirts, printed. They just got to be cleaned. Got to clean these. Hopefully hers shrinks because that thing's huge. Okay. More laundry to do, Chewbacca. More laundry to do. All right. Now I have two big boxes, and I know what this one is. Because I literally have run out, and it's time to rebuy. Re wow, that taping job. What the? You know what? It's easier if I just slice the box open. Yeah, that should be everything. Two yoga mats. Actually, this is my favorite packing material. That's going to go... For the yard sale stuff has to get packaged up that's the best one empty all right yoga mats red and yoga mat gray i usually use black all my tables this this stuff the quarter inch thick extra thick stuff uh it comes in two foot or three foot widths and i'm got i got some of the two foot widths because here's what i've done um i literally made inserts for my shoes out of the last little pieces, the remnants I had of the black stuff. And it feels good, but I think I need two layers. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go and cut up any more of my black stuff because I use up for like when I'm doing displays. But this red stuff, I'm gonna cut a strip of it. I'm gonna cut out the shape of my foot. I'm gonna put in my shoes and it's gonna be extra soft and cute. And I'm not gonna unravel this, right? Leave these raveled up till I need them. Good idea. Shit, I went to kick the box on the edge. It doesn't have an edge. So these will go here for now. Mmm, thick. You could also, you know, desk covering, speaker isolation, shoe fucking, you could make your own shoe things. It's, it, it's endless uses, endless usage. This might be half of what I need to go camping soon. I was hoping that that was part of the thing, but it's not. So this is the thing. I hate when the car, oh, okay. It's not sharp. Who tapes this box? They're bad. More of my favorite pack material. I've been running out, so that's good. See, Zios gets his stuff for free. Okay, that is a giant hole. What the fuck? Where's my camera? Hold on. That that requires me taking a picture because if this is bad, that's the... Like, what the hell is that? Anyway, it should be a tent liner for inside a 10 by 10 canopy. But why is there a... Like, fucking Jaws came. 
took a massive bite out of it. Doesn't look like the product is damaged underneath, but... Yeah. Hey, Amazon, guess why I'm returning you? Camping cube, easy up. Yes, camping cube. Blocks 90% of harmful UV rays, pocket power, giggity, shows up in seconds, pet access. Yeah, so you all remember I unboxed the tent. If you don't remember me unboxing a tent in this channel, go back and find the review of the tent. Now, that tent was great, except when the rain happened, then that tent wasn't great, because that tent was not waterproof. So it sets up easy, it's a little low, and I had to go and get a friend's tarp and tarp the fuck out of it, and then the water hit the side because I was on a slight hill, and it just kept dripping into the bottom through the material, just like, oh, it's crying. The floor is crying. So this year I want a taller tent with, with that doesn't leak, so I did more research, and I still want it to be easy and better. So this cube, it's hard to explain. I'm definitely, I guess I have to unbox this. All right, I'm going to not rip that anymore in case this has to go back. This, basically, you know the canopies you set up when you go tailgating. They're 10 foot by 10 foot with the, the blue thing on top, and they got the metal legs, and you stand under them, and oh, good, I'm safe and secure for this, for this tailgating. This is a cube tent that hooks into one of those. So I bought a 10 by 10 canopy from some random company. It doesn't have to be the same company as this. And then I bought this, which is a tent that you literally walk into the middle of that. You set up your canopy and go, okay, hook to corner, hook to corner, hook to corner, hook to corner, hook to foot, hook to foot, hook to foot, hook to foot, done. And you walk into your 10 by 10 foot with eight foot ceiling fucking tent, essentially. So it's double. So that means you get the roof of the actual canopy preventing water from hitting the top of your tent and the roof of the tent preventing water from coming into your tent. So, what's oh, a heavy bit? Oh Jesus, did I just give myself the biggest paper cut on fucking earth? Am I bleeding? I see a line. I don't see blood. Woof. I gave myself a paper cut. Well, no, I gave myself a cut with an aluminum uh, like tin for food. It was bad. It was the least fun I've had in like a week. <clears throat> Okay. Well, you don't look returned or used. I like the colors. This is my thing. This is my jam. This was like me as a kid. Everything was gray and black with red stripes. Everything. That zipper. Big ass zipper. What is... Six piece metal spikes. <laughs> and no, I can't set up that one in my living room. I'm pretty sure the actually the canopy would be too big for this living room. It's 15 by 18. If I move the couch, I'm not setting up the tent in my living room. Anyway, I would have probably camped by the time you see this, especially if I'm not releasing this video because of the t-shirts. Okay, it looks like it's all rolled up. And they give you, I like the fact that you like, when you open this bag, look how much space is in this bag for when you rewrap it, it'll never be as tight as this. So that's good. It's got plenty of space to expand and be this whole bag. Eh? Weird. Corn. Corn. Um, good. Are they two zippers? We have two zippers here? We do. I love that. Okay, so that's, this is half of my camping, I guess I can keep a thing in here, wow it's a deep pocket, why is there a pocket here, don't know, okay, you know what, this is a super padded thing, they're usually not this padded, this, this is good, this is getting high marks already, but will it stop water is the question. So that's half of my tent. That's a tent. It's got to be different and better. I don't do things that aren't different and better. Okay. And let's just see how Josh repacked my headphones. So if I have to, I can take him to small claims court and sue his ass till he's dead. What if it's just a bag of broken glass or a dog shit in like a various levels of Ziploc bags? 
<laughs> so, when a fellow headphone reviewer is like, hey, I don't have anything else left to review, and I'm like, you know what, I got tons of shit. Oh, it's a dog shit. It's a dog shit. I'm confused. He must have been a butcher in another life. Glad I'm filming this. Oh, Jesus. All right, that works. So, my baby, my Oppo Hot 2. How's this thing looking? Fully charged. Nice. It's like returning your car with a full tank of gas. SMSL SAP 6 with the power brick. Uh, my original Origin. This is the Origin, not G2. It's not going to be my original Origin. I'm a piece of shit. I can't give him the other one because it's working on my laptop. It runs my whole computer. I gave him the old one that I just wasn't doing anything with. We've got... What else did I give him? A fidget spinner? I gave him the fidget spinner as like a joke. Put that back in the garbage again. Um, wow, there's some stuff here. So we've got cables for the brainwaves. Brainwaves cable. We've got a uh, V-Moda cable, which he'd never held a V-Moda cable, and I gave him my black one. The, the, look at the, the mm. this should be the Audio Engine D1. Yeah. Yeah, with custom foam feet. And the only issue I ever have with this thing is every, like, I don't know, 117 hours that it's on, it goes, ah! And I'm like, what the fuck? My soup. I have to get my soup. And I have the Audio Engine sticker on top. This is like the first thing a company ever just gave me. This has a special... It's so pretty, too. And it, it works. A power button, headphone. It's, and it's... Uh, line outs. Optical input. I just don't have a need for it. Like, like right now... Like, I could use it. I just don't have a need for it. I could use the optical out. I can have a Chromecast go into it. Max the Chromecast volume. Then use a knob. Hmm. Ziploc bag. I could probably reuse that for something. So these are the accessories I gave him. I gave him the wires for that. I had K712s were there. The Zero Audios, the little, um, the Nero, the Neos, whatever those are. That, that, that. The Mezes. I let him borrow my Mezes. They don't smell like Josh, I don't think. I don't know, I'll meet him at Rocky Mountain. See how that goes down. Oh, I'm definitely bleeding now. Remember that thing that I like wonder if I'm bleeding? Yeah, I'm bleeding. My babies! My brain waves. My original brain waves. They've been gone. They went on an adventure. Oh, they're still so comfortable. Still so comfortable. Oh. Okay. Brain waves are back. Yes! I have an extra pair of Ship 9500s. I, by the way, I, AliExpress sells them for 80 bucks. I bought five pairs. I don't know if I'm going to yard sale them or hold them for a year, then yard sale them. It's an investment opportunity, but yeah, damn it. Ships. Are these my original set? Or are these the S's? I can't tell. I forget which ones I sent him. Because I have the S's to compare and they're exactly the same. Uh, my T50s went to him. Because again, I have the T20s out of my rack. Because not enough love given to the T20s. And the T20s with 1840 pads. I got to get some iodine on this finger. It's going to hurt. 1540 pads. With the uh, deer skin. The Mod House deer skin up here. Oh, it's so fucking nice. I should go watch his review of these and see what he said. What do we use to power them? I think he has a Magni 3. It should be adequate. And then the last but not least... Should be my K712s. Double wrapped. Double wrapped this. Yeah. Hi, babies. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh yeah. 
Oh, they're so light and soft. I almost wish the clamp was harder so they activated the memory foam in the in the anti pads. But yeah, no, they're good. Okay, so this was my offering to a fellow headphone reviewer that had nothing. Decent selection, I think. All right, it's time to go deal with my life and my socks and my grinders and my finger that's bleeding. Um, so if you want anything on this unboxing, if you want any, if anything on this unboxing is appealing to you, links will be in the description that you might go and uh, get, go and get what you want. You know, she's got to be on a thing like that. Go get what you want in this life. Don't wait for it to come to you. Well, order it, then wait for it to come to you. Then you gotta go get it.